a champion's defense. No greater honor, no tougher challenge. The 2012 NBA championship was a first of its kind for many on the Heat's otherwise distinguished roster. Having satisfied that singular desire, many of the 12 returning players must now find a way to reinvent themselves and their mission in an effort to match the unquenchable thirst that once fueled their quest for a first title. I'm not satisfied. I know the history of the game and you know, legends, um, you know, you become legendary when you win more than one championship. You know, and that's, uh, that's my next goal. I want our guys to be excited uh, about this opportunity, uh, about the opportunity for real legacy. Uh, and that's what all competitors want. They want to play for something special. Their opponent knows well the uphill battle a champion can face in their effort to repeat. Four times since the arrival of Tim Duncan, the Spurs have enjoyed the view from the champion's perch. In each successive season, they were derailed in their efforts to repeat. from Dirk Nowitzki. The celebration is on in Dallas. A journey that is just beginning has already led them far from home, but has not taken their focus away from the Miami mission to defend their championship. Season resumes on this Saturday afternoon in Miami with a marquee matinee matchup of elite teams. For the defending NBA champions, today is their fifth of eight preseason games, and following their 27 point route of the Pistons Thursday, they look regular season ready. Today against the Spurs will be a better indicator for both teams, although one Miami superstar gets the day off. Welcome everybody inside the Heat's house, the American Airlines Arena for Heat Spurs preseason basketball. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us on Sun Sports. And Heat fans, we hope you're enjoying the weekend. A preseason Saturday afternoon in the NBA and inside that building, the American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami. Today, preseason game number five for both the Heat and the Spurs, the Spurs three and one, the heater two and two, your tip of the game being delivered by Papa John's. On over the top of Bosch on that play. Boris Diaw, who was let go by the Charlotte Bobcats last March and hook up with the Spurs. Nice move by Dwayne Wade. Coach, his quickness, his legs are back. Uh you could see he was spirited and had a, some pep in his step. Yeah, and one of the reasons why Coach Bolson wants to push the ball up the floor is to get D. Wade and LeBron in the open court before the defense can set up. And you can see what Wayne can do at the end. And then you see a little back door action there off a high screen as Cole scores from out of bounds. The Spurs' first game in the first and third quarters. You know what I find interesting, Eric? This game also features two of the only four coaches in the NBA who are the active coaches who have won an NBA championship. You got the other two are Rick Carlisle with Dallas and Doc Rivers with Boston. And of course you got Spolster and uh, Coach Popovich. Nice looking drive by Wade. And we know he likes to use the glass when he's got that angle. Cole with a steal, changing ends quickly, finds Ray Allen for the layup. Uh, he changed it looked like. He thought somebody was coming from the left side, but Battier was a little late. That went to the right to Allen and he finished. Forbes High School lacrosse in the Baltimore oh, area. Okay, you would know about that. Uh, Gary Neal, four points and three minutes off the bench. Spurs by two. Wade on the move. It drops. Dwayne Wade getting his way on the drive. Looked like he got hit, but no call. Miller. Nando DiColo is in for the Spurs. Very interesting rookie is Cole hits the teardrop off glass. Doris Cole, eight points on four of five shooting. Play That's Wade leaning in. Pittman on the follow. Plus a foul. Oh, good hustle by big Dexter Pittman. The follow and the foul. Well, Splitter went to help on Wade going to the basket. It left Pittman open enough to get to the offensive boards. See, Splitter's helping on Wade, and he's guarding Pittman, Splitter is, so that leaves Pittman wide open to try attempt. There you go again. You can see how he, as he left, Jackson tried to come over and help off the bench. His fifth three of the preseason puts the Spurs up one. And for two years in the NBA, Neal has shot 42% from the three-point line. That's terrific. 
Nice pass by Lewis for the Pittman throwdown. That was Rashard Lewis showing you he can do more than shoot. A great look in the Pittman. Excellent with the Spurs. Actually, He'll sit the, down Ginobili. Actually, when the ball is swung to the top, you should always look inside first. And you can see Rashad Lewis finds his man. Easy dunk inside. Eight and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. This is Garrett Temple flying in. They have a wingspan and the strides of the 26-year-old Temple for his first score today. Problems, both in his back and his legs. Great pass inside by Pittman, which set up this J by Miller because they had to come in and, and cover the guy inside. On the other end, Heat with a four-point lead. Miller, number three ball. Come on. Oh, my. The man's on fire again. It looks like the fifth game against o OKC. <laughs> How about four of four from... Three point land for Mike Miller. Decisions that Coach Bolster made last year. Remember when Chris Bosch came back in the Boston series? Do you uh, bring uh, uh, Battier off the bench as, as Towson tapped that in, or do you bring Udonis off the bench? Very nice offensive put back a moment ago. Yeah, you can see it as he goes to the basket from the top of the key. Nobody boxed him out. And he got there he, he out against the Heat in that first round series. Eddie Curry with five points off the Spurs bench. Nice Euro step score for Dwayne Wade. Makes it look easy. He has 13 first half points. On that um, Rashad Lewis, I think you're going to see the Heat's going to be among the league leaders in the three point shooting percentage this year. Nice move by Bosch. First field goal of the game for Bosch, who has two free throws in the first half. Spurs right now to 12-3 run, and Cole comes speeding right back. Ten points now for Norris Cole. See, there's something right there that he brings to the table, both on offense and defense. Yeah, Cole is one of the fastest players in the NBA, going baseline to baseline with the ball. He attacks before the Spurs could set up, comes off a screen. You got to love his speed, his quickness, and his fearlessness. All down by four. And wide open. Nice pass by Harris. Oh, beautiful pass by Harris. I think the Spurs thought he was going to skip it over to his teammate for a three, but instead he held it another half a second. Found Pittman inside. What a very entertaining game here for the fans, both on TV and in the arena. And you see Harris right there. He was looking to his right. Did a great job of misdirecting the pass. And the world champion Miami Heat are down by two. Good job by Harris, misdirection, looking one way, passing the other. Easy basket inside. His crowd is fired up, Eric. This feels like trying to throw it to him early. He wasn't open, so he waited for him to get open on the other side of the rim. First score in the game for the former Texas Longhorn, Corey Joseph. Minute eight left in the fourth. Five on the shot clock. Harrelson, open three. Cover! That's what he does. He said he shot 34% last year as a rookie with the Knicks. He can make that shot. He has all eight of his points in this final period. Good pick and pop by the Spurs that time. Well, this home crowd into the finish. They've been into the whole game. Heat lead by one. Seven to shoot. Four on the shot clock. Harris climbing the ladder for two. Ah, good ball movement by the Heat. You catch the ball in rhythm. Against the rotation defense, you go against the grain. What Harrelson is, Eric, he did not let DiColo shoot the three. If he, if he makes the two, you're, not in, you're still in good shape. He forces him off the two, off the three. And earlier, Harrelson on the, uh, being wide open from the top of the key, buries the three. And then Terrell Harris going against the grain as the Heat swing the ball from one side to the other. Feet here in Miami. Three to tie, Joseph does not come close. And the Heat hold on for a 104-101 come from behind victory. Miami trailed by 10 late in the third quarter and they come back behind Harrelson and Harris and Garrett Temple all leading the way here in the fourth quarter. And Pittman being active defensively, really a terrific quarter for everyone who played for the Heat this quarter. And you, you got to like the fact that they're all vying for a spot and they came through in the clutch for them.
Now one Heat player at his best preseason game so far in this uh, early part of the schedule was Rashard Lewis, 15 points in 21 minutes. He made six of his nine shots, including three from downtown. And right now he's with Jason Jackson. Yeah, we got the whole crew in here today. We got the whole Lewis family. It's good to be back here in the winter struggle. It's got to be nice to be able to pull out a win. I know it's a preseason, but if you guys are going to come out here, you want to compete, right? Yeah, we most definitely want to compete. Uh, like you said, it's good to get a win, especially with our number one guy sitting out, LeBron. Uh, just let you know how deep this squad is. We got a lot of guys on this team that can play go out there and help us win ball games. And personally, how nice is it to be here in front of your new home crowd and play the way you played offensively? Uh, it's great, you know, to feel that energy in the building, especially uh, being down, going into the fourth quarter, fighting back into it, and, and overall coming out with the win. Let's introduce this young man down here. What do we have going on here? That's what I'm talking about. It's a family affair. Yeah, it is. You know, they, uh, Miami's welcomed us very well. My family loves it. Uh, and, you know, it's, everything's been pleasing for us. And trying to get through this preseason and just get better and get ready for opening night. Thanks for the time. Thanks for the extra guest. Right. And congratulations on the win. Thank you. Rashard Lewis getting it done. There goes the Lewis family enjoying a Saturday evening in Miami with a victory in tow as Papa helps out with a sweet jumper. 104, 101, the final board to come, including Big Pit in the studio. Stay right there. Watching Lewis round in the regular season form. Coach, he sure looked good today with 15 points on six for nine shooting. Coming off a good game against Detroit the other night, I think he's accelerated the process here. I think he's coming along a little quicker than the Heat people here expected him to. You know, having not played really good big minutes the last two years, as you mentioned, had injuries to his legs. And you know, for a shooter, that's the worst thing that can happen. And yet he's showing that he's going to be a, an important part of this team as the season progresses. Yeah, today was a good day for Richard Lewis and the Heat. I think it's an example of how good a training camp it's been, how deep and talented a roster the Heat have assembled. On Sun Sports, once again, our final score, 104 to 101. Once again, we want to see you back right with us on Tuesday night. We'll have all the action locked in from Raleigh playing Charlotte, but in Raleigh. They like to keep it regional there in the Carolinas. That's okay as well. All the coverage right here on Sun Sports. So for Eric Reed and Tony Fiorentino, I am Jason Jackson. This has been a presentation of Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports, your home all preseason season, and we're taking it to the postseason for Miami Heat basketball. Make sure you're locked in. We'll see you again on Tuesday. 104 101 the heat win have a good one south florida it's all about the youth